Okay, good morning everybody. I wanted to share with you our first day of using our big broccoli harvester. We've been in here maybe for a couple weeks just piddling around with a few bins here and there with the tractor and some wagons, but today is the first day that there's been enough of, uh, of a harvest to warrant taking the big harvester out. So it's kind of a, a neat thing to see, but it'll make a good little video clip to show people a little more of what we do. So. You can see here, it's basically like a big conveyor belt that's moving through the field, like perpendicular to the direction of these rows here. And the guys are walking along it, cutting the heads of broccoli that are mature enough to, uh, to do like two pieces to a bunch. And that's how we get our, our best yield. And um, yeah, and then as that belt gets a little bit full, he'll turn it on, it delivers it up to this wagon. The wagon has 10 bins on it and that will, uh, Will high tailor for the farm to be cooled, either iced or, or force air cooled, as soon as possible. And uh, then another wagon will pull right in and take its place. On a heavy cutting day, we typically would do one of these loads an hour, so up to nine or ten loads. So sometimes, if they work in the evening, we'll do up to 15 loads sometimes. Um, and we can do even more than that on a really heavy cutting. Today, it'll be much less. It's still a little early for that kind of. Uh, that kind of heavy cutting. So this is an early variety. You can see there's still some stuff left that's kind of small. So we'll maybe come through here one or two more times. Here's some little tiny guys. They're leaving stuff that looks kind of like this. That's got a little bit more growing to do before it kind of becomes uh, a two head to a bunch. So. <laughs> Broccoli is kind of different like that. It doesn't mature all at the same rate. We gotta come into a field two or three times. You can't come through and cut everything at once. So I'll go a little bit closer here. We're not gonna hear as much because it's kind of loud, but uh, one thing I'll mention quickly is, uh, so you can see me, a little bit of a taboo subject is the temporary foreign worker program, if I should even get into that, but uh, we uh, benefit greatly from that program we have since 1989. And uh, you can see these guys here are all working very hard. We also have 20 Canadian people that are working with us and they work year-round. So we employ both and it, if we didn't have the foreign workers, we would not be able to employ 20 Canadian people year-round. They've kind of, having these guys here has let us get our business to that next level that lets you uh, not only give uh, like spin-off employment to different specialists, but you know, build us up big enough so we can operate year-round. We, we have some importing that we do too, and, and repackaging. So, so it's a good thing. And I'll, I'll go closer here so you can see what they're doing and, and uh, maybe focus in on a couple of the guys. So. so you can see he's just turned that belt on. The broccoli's gonna come flying through the delivery chute there. And uh, broccoli is something that you can be you don't have to be quite as gentle with it as uh, tomatoes or apples or something like that. It doesn't bruise. The worst thing that happens is a little piece of florette will break off the edge, so we're able to, to use something a little more mechanical like this to, to harvest it and get it into the bins. So there we have Smokey. He's got, he's got the easier row, but he's on strict quality control today, right? <laughs> Terribly bashful. Richard. That's Softy, Cartoon. There's Lindell and Kirk, David, Keith, Raymond. That's uh, Ninja, Kenneth, and Ricky, and John, and Roxy, Jeffrey, and Jason. There's Victor way up ahead there. Couldn't resist a little closing panoramic shot of all this ground we got to cover, but we'll do it by dinner time. So, anyway, stay tuned for uh, some more exciting stuff and feel free to subscribe.